again everyone. Today I am showing you my B6 Slim Chic Sparrow Folio in the Mockingbird line leather in Hummingbird. And here I'll show you the texture and color up close. It's really a pretty leather. And here I'll show you the back. Okay. And I just got this one a couple days ago and it's, it's really a nice folio. This is the Cafe Notes B6 Slim Notebook, which I'll put a link to in uh, underneath the video here. And this fits perfectly. I've already tried putting this in here and it is a completely perfect snug fit. And I'll show you how I put it in. Here's, oh, <laughs> see, my notebook's upside down. I don't know how to tell you how many times I have done that. I've put this in a folio or put a notebook in a folio and then it's the wrong way around. So I always try to see where the logo is, which is the back and then make sure I'm putting it in the right way. So take two here, let's see. So I always put it a little bit in in the back and then put it a little bit in in the front and just sort of slide both sides in there. And it, see, it's, it's a total perfect fit for that Naname Cafe Notes notebook. Perfect. And it does pop up just a little bit. I don't know if that's true of um, all of the leathers in the B6 Slim Folio. Um, so what I do is I put this little guy around. And this is an elastic that's made by Hobonichi. And I think they make it to go around their Hobonichi Weeks and Techos. I think this is the Techo version, so it's a little bit bigger than the Weeks version, but it, it's really flexible and fits around a lot of different notebooks. So there you go. And then it keeps it closed. Perfect. Okay. So what I actually wanted to do today is try out, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna take this notebook out, the perfect fitting notebook. I think that this is the notebook that this folio was made for, this Nanami Cafe Notes B6 Slim. And these are great notebooks. Uh, they have a grid inside. You can also get them in lined. I think that's the only other kind you can get. Uh, and they're made with Tomoe River paper, which is really super thin and great for fountain pens, which is what I usually write with. But for this notebook, what I was planning on using it for is to keep track of TNs that I've sold. Uh, I have a little bit of a problem with getting attached to my traveler's notebooks and my leather goods. So I figured that if I could document the ones that I get rid of, I can kind of downsize a little bit, sell some on a buy sell trade group on Facebook. Uh, and, and then I don't feel so bad. I feel like I still have them in some way. So for that, I wanted to use a notebook that was a little slimmer and it doesn't need to be Tomoe River paper because I'm mostly gonna be putting pictures in it uh, and maybe just a note of what it was. So this notebook is by MD and it is a grid inside too, a little different. These, are, these grids are a little bit darker and the paper is not as thin or as nice. This is not Tomoe River paper. But it still works great for fountain pens. I've used it for fountain pens, uh, but for this purpose, maybe I'll use fountain pens, maybe I won't, so this will be just fine. And here I'll, sh I'll compare it to the Naname Cafe Notes. So you can see, okay, so it's the same height. Let me see if I can, they're the same height. And the Cafe Notes is just a little bit um, longer this way, just a little bit. So I'm guessing there's going to be some extra space when I put the MD notebook in this folio. Okay, so let's try this one. 
Let's see, I'm gonna do the same. Oh wait, let's make sure. Let's make sure it's the right way around. Okay, yes, it's the right way around. There's the logo, that's the back. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit in. Actually, let me see, let me slide it all the way in and see. Okay, because you could also use it this way. You could just put it in one pocket and then close it like that. But I'm gonna see if I can fit it in both. So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more again. I'm gonna need to do that a little bit more. All right, and then in the back. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to coax the two sides in. And that looks like it fits pretty great too. Oh, while well, you look at that, I got a tiny little scratch while doing that. Okay, so with this leather, general, because I, I have another notebook in this particular leather, uh, it doesn't have as much variation and it's a little darker, but with the other one, I've been able to rub out scratch sorry sorry if this squeaking is bothering you but that's just the noise that it makes when my finger goes across the leather so you can kind of see i don't know if you could see the scratch before but now it really kind of blends in it rubs in pretty well which is why it's nice because then if you don't like scratches you can rub them in if you like your scratches then you can leave them all right so this is actually fitting really well. You can see there's some extra space on the spine. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So there's some extra space here in the back. Um, and I suppose you could try and fit a pen in there. I don't think I have a pen that would be thin enough. Let's see. This is a... Uh, friction point four with the cap let's see no that's too slow that's too small <laughs> that's not gonna fit oh yeah uh, uh. no it'd still be too small but if you had a really thin pen you might be able to do it back there with this notebook in there okay and when it lays down it's still so it still opens up a little bit like that so i am just gonna put the band back on And there you go. So that is the MD notebook in B6 Slim in the B6 Slim notebook from Chic Sparrow. All right. Thanks for watching and feel free to like or like and or subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.